Bruno State government, it will never be well with you people. All the people in power in this country, it will never be well with all of you. All of you that are part of this evil acts in this country, it will never be well with all of you. Your generations will suffer. Amen and amen to that particular prayer from very dark man. Like all these our wicked and selfish politicians, they will never die well. My people, look at what is happening in Boroni State because of the flooding that render many people homeless as well as even by many people. They are now turning it into business. Look at the billions of Naira, United Nations donated, and as well as individuals in Nigeria. Dan Gote donated. Even this morning, I heard that people be donated 50 million. And this particular money is not getting to these people. Yesterday, they pursued these people from IDP camp and gave them 10,000 10, naira with, with uh, some packets of indomies. Like, where are they expecting these people to go to? Knowing fully well that the flood has already destroyed their houses, their home. Even yesterday night, these people slept outside under the rain. My people, which kind of wickedness is this? Why the whole world is donating billions of naira because of these people? And it's not getting to them. That's why very dark man provoke. And even asking the United States to go and collect their money back because it's not getting to these people. And also he's asking Nigerians to stop donating money because of these people because this money is not getting to them. My people, let me allow you guys so that you can listen and also see it with your crow crow eyes what a very dark man is saying in this particular video. Bruno State government, it will never be well with you people. All the people in power in this country, it will never be well with all of you. All of you that are part of this evil acts in this country, it will never be well with all of you. Your generations will suffer. Your generation, your people's generation will suffer. Especially that Borono State government, when a generation, the people who power there, your generation will suffer. This evening, Sean Kuti called me. Sean Kuti said, a eh, very dark man. I want to donate one million. You understand? I see those people they suffer. More just support. You understand? Shion Kuti called me this evening. I said, okay, no wala. I just the end the call with Shion Kuti. I see say uh, I see fire or she tag me. Say um uh, himself, he won't donate five hundred thousand But The both of them are saying one thing that like they are not sure of which account they are going to put it. I say, okay, no wala. Based on say I don't go there before. Me say, I don't trust anybody. May they send. May they send the money, 1.5 million. Maybe I go add like maybe 3 million or 2 million, you know, or 4 million. Then, because I know that they don't have water in the IDP camp that I went to, right? I know say they don't get water for the IDP camp. So I say, okay, I'll go do bowl for the calculate bowl. Maybe I have to do like three bowl holes. You understand? Immediately, I picked up my phone and then I called. The people in the IDP can like my guys. I call them. I say, okay, man, good news. So she don't want bring money. Uh, some of them won't bring money. I go out down with my money. I go do bow. So we made a plan. We we'll go to the IDP camp. These guys just told me this evening. Look at the news of this evening. That the government came, gave them ten thousand naira and spaghetti and pursued everybody out of that place. See this video of the just imagine the numbers of people that are in that place that day. See a, 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 a bad eye view of the location. Now, see the crowd that are there. They pursued everybody outside. Everybody. They pursued everybody outside. These people, a uh, flood have carried their houses. Over 300,000 people flood don't pack their house. Do you understand? A lot of children in these streets. Let's not even talk about the disease where it will start now because there will be serious cholera outbreak. Do you understand? They don't push you all of them go outside. They don't push you all of them go outside. See videos now. This one, at this night, I tell them, made a one. Watch. <laughs>
see other videos <laughs> So what kind of government is this? They say UN donates six million dollars. That is almost almost ten billion naira. They say that they do, they, uh, donate one billion naira. A lot of people don't donate one hundred million. I see say that they carry food from UAE a bit today. Say that they can't come Nigeria. So with all this money, you people are sharing ten thousand naira and you are giving them spaghetti to do what? This money can create housing for these people. What are you people holding this money back for? You people already have money, government. You have money. It's not as if you don't have money. It's not as if you have money. Nobody should donate any money to Borunu State again. Dear international bodies, nobody should donate anything. They are not giving this money to these people. It is not getting to the hands of these people. The government has this money. They are not giving it to the people. Do not donate money for Borono State again. Please, I beg you. These people will not get this money. These people are not getting this aid. Don't donate anything to Borono State. Don't donate anything to Borono State. Alright, so this video is to the United Nations. I will open my comment section so that it will be tagged heavily. This video is not to call for help or assistance. This video is for you people to go back to Borono State Government and collect back your $6 million that you donated. This morning, I sent somebody at 12 a.m. this morning to go and check the status and situation of things of those people that made people start donating money. And as at 12 a.m. this morning, being 18th, September 2024, this is the status of things. <laughs> so as you can see in the video this morning those people slept inside the rain do you understand? They slept inside the rain, no shelter and nothing. Meanwhile, because of these people, a lot of donations have come in to the hands of the Borno State Government. So what are they using those money for? So these people now, now to, is, the day is bright. Do you understand? They'll wake up to cold. There's no blankets to cover. There's no hot tea to drink. There's no food to eat. There's nowhere to go to. There's no job for them to do. There's no even water for them to drink. I saw them dragging pure water that day. There's no water for them to drink. Meanwhile, the government on their behalf is collecting millions and billions and they will not do anything for them. Now, they are sending food from United Arab Emirates. Of course, you know what they did during COVID-19. When they shared palliative, they stopped the palliative inside different houses. They did not share it to the people. And at the end of the day, some of them were using this palliative for souvenirs in their own private events. They're using their souvenirs now. Don't be one woman they catch where carry palliative they share for a bad day. Do you understand? It's becoming very, very obvious that they deliberately let that dam broke in Borono. Because of these people, see what that see what that flooding did to that people. Over 300,000 houses were destroyed. This this dam, this flood came. 2 a.m. in the morning. 2 a.m. when people were sleeping. The people that could not swim, they drowned. There's a video that I could not even put up. Somebody that was standing on the pole. He stood on the pole. The water got to him. He stayed there for hours. At the end of the day, carried that water and drank. This is a water that went through the cemetery and brought out dead people's bones. 
This is a water that had dead animals in it. Guy drowned from it. Thousands of people followed that flood. And now millions are in this place. Millions. Millions. And guess what? Money is being donated. But boom. Instead, they were pushing people out of the IDP camps. And money is being donated. So, United Nations, go back and collect your money. Now, anybody that wants to help this situation in Burundi, if you cannot go there by yourself, don't donate to any government. They will not give these people your money. Don't donate to them. Go there yourself. Stop that. Don't listen to that rumor that they are telling you that Burundi is insecure. It's not insecure. There's nothing happening there. Go there and go and donate that money by yourself. Don't listen to these people. This government are bad. Now, this money, they say, Dan Tata have contributed again. 1.5 billion gave it to the government. Meanwhile, if you gather all this money, it will create good housing for these people. To give them food, it will create jobs for them. Create better school and better education for them. But of course, they have to weaponize, weaponize whatever thing that is happening. Nigerians, you people should better... See, you better put interest in this matter that is going on. You know why? With the multitude of children I saw out there, without father, without house, without shelter, next thing now, Boko Haram will come and give them good offers. Terrorism will start. Kidnapping will start. You go to come from Kogi State, they carry you. They enter bush. Insecurity will be crazy. Let's not talk about the disease and the sickness that our water will bring. The cholera outbreak again is another one. But the insecurity will be crazy. Nigeria, Nigeria army, police, you people should better be prepared. You go fight terrorism entire in the next 10 years. You will fight terrorism. United Nations, please go and collect back your money. Go and take back your money. Please go and take back your money. Yeah, my people, what a country. Unfortunately, they are not showing us this on our mainstream media because they know what they are doing. But thank God for very dark man for exposing them so that Nigerians will have idea of what is happening. My people, that is it. I said, I bring this update to you guys. I hope you truly enjoy watching. Please, if today is your first time here, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. And also give me a thumbs up so that you too will recommend this video to other people to watch. Share the video as well. Thanks so much for doing so. And also, thanks so much for watching. I will see you guys in my next update. Goodbye for now. Welcome to Chambers in your TV. Day. Go on,